Race 17 is a two and a half mile maiden chase. The chases to start the day off today, always fighting at the top for David Hooley, Craskend Avenue, Darren Thompson, Grand Alcomis, Daniel French, Lordstra Dancing for Derek Hinton, Mara Lord, Leon Van Rensburg, Maxi Mix, Sargas, Jamie Hopkins, Moore Woodward for Jamie Golands, Publisher, Rustlin, David Robertson, Sierra Vista Fair, Vinnie Gerard, Strangers, Call Martin, Leon City Delight, Jim Murray, Execute, James Shea, Pearly Jane, John Morgan, Photography, Risk for Graham Clutterbuck, The Witch Queen, Joshua Sutherland, and Tight for Craig Beckwith. A big field of 16 for this one. Biggest field of the day so far. Hasn't done anything to improve the weather though. So we get called in and ready to go, and off we go. And where's the pace going to come from in this one? It looks like more Woodward is going to be one of the first ones to go forward. Also, Strangers Call and Photography Risk as they head towards the first. And over it they go, one or two sketchy jumps, but it looks like it's probably going to be Photography Risk or maybe now more Woodward as we thought. Initially, those two are in fact going on now and have put three lengths between themselves and the pack as they get to the second. It's more Woodward who's in the lead there. More Woodward from photography risk in second. Gap of four lengths then to the rest of them are just about headed by Pearly Jane in the light blue. Now this near rail Lorstra dancing in the pink as they get over the next. The two greys are at the back. Publisher rustling for David Robertson. And Maxi Mix Sagas. And it's more Woodward. And Photography Risk leading into the fourth. Over that they go. With the Witch Queen now moved through into third. Oh, Josh has already had two winners today. Then Lost for Dancing is next. Sierra Vista Fair between them. Then Strangers Call cool with Tights in behind that one. As they take this turn and head off towards the next with more Woodward and Photography Risk leading over the water I have to change courses then I noticed that because we didn't have a water jump in the earlier races and it's Photography Risk in the lead and Photography Risk made a mistake there and more Woodward has gone into a clear lead so more Woodward then by length Photography Risk Regain his equilibrium now, back in second. The Witch Queen is third, Tight is fourth. Then Sierra Vista Fair as they take this ditch. Oh, what is that fall there? Tight's gone. Crashed into that one and he's out of it. Always flying as now dropped to the back. And it's still more Woodward from Photography Risk. As they head into number eight. Uh, photography Risk jumped into the lead there. Maxi Max Sargas has the one who's made significant progress, the Greys moved into third, then comes Sierra Vista Fair, Pearly Jane is after that one, and then Craskend Avenue trying to get into it, Lawstra Dancing is trying to get close as well, Publisher Rustlin's making some ground from the back, Execute Norway's flying have dropped out of the back, and just sitting quietly on the outside, Manor Lord and City Delight will be looking to make a move wide, I would think, but it's Photography Risk and more Woodward as they come down towards the final mile then. In this one, it's photography risk for Graham Clutterbuck in the lead by about a length to more Woodward in second. Sierra Vista Fair has now crept through into third. Craskend Avenue is four and Lostra Avenue is five as they get over number nine. Which they're all over safe and they're really tightly packed behind these leaders now. It's more Woodward. More Woodward and Photography Risk together as they come in to that small ditch. They're all over it safely. Craskend Avenue has now moved through into second, but there's no more than a dozen lengths first to last at this point. Photography Risk is still just that leader. Craskend Avenue is second. Lord Redanton is third. City Delight is fourth. Publisher Rustlin jumped that really well and has now jumped through into second. Bit of a mistake one always flying at the back, but it's Photography Risk in the lead as they come towards this next fence. It's Photography Risk over on the far right who's in front the grey publisher rustling closest to us is in second coming in behind them strangers calls made a forward move but then ran straight into the fence and immediately drops back Manor Lord is now coming through to challenge and it's Manor Lord who takes it up Manor Lord has gone on with three to jump Manor Lord in front then publisher rustling back in second then photography risk and strangers call as they get over to third last it's Manor Lord who's clear Manor Lord's two lengths clear of publisher rustling in second strangers call third then comes photography risk and crash again down 
Avenue as they come down towards the final two, the second last. Leon van Rensburg's Manalor gets over it well. Look at this coin from the back end now, always flying. He's absolutely flying, but he's got a lot of ground to make up. It's Manalor who's well clear. Four lengths clear coming into the final fence. Looking like he's only got to jump it. Manalor pops over it. Gets over it nicely from Publish and Rustling in second. Running on but on the outside is always flying. Craskend Avenue running on as well, but they're not going to get anywhere near the leader. And Manalor takes it. Publish and Rustling in second. Always flying. Craskend Avenue after that one. And all the way back to the long time leader, Moore Woodward. He was the last one to finish. But it's a win for Leon. Yeah, Manalor has took that pretty impressively. A good five or six lengths. His publisher Rustling second. Let's take a look there. Manalor, the winner for Leon Van Rensburg. Publisher Rustling, David Robertson second. Always flying, David Hooley third. Craskend Avenue, Darren Thompson fourth. Uh, Sierra Vista Fair for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.